Alright, so now that we got him... Oh. Still here, are ya? Yep, now I'm leaving. <laughs> Alright. Now that we got the uh, center perfume, we can now head over here. Spray this stuff on him. Woo! That's an all too familiar smell. Guess I can't complain though, since Quentin Q. Umbridge is my best customer. Quentin Q. Umbridge. The man regularly buys prosthetic noses from me. Really? He's my, uh, really good friend. Yeah. I lost track of him and, uh, missed him so much that I made a little odor potion to remind me of him. Okay, too much information. I have a strict rule of don't ask, don't smell. Well, anyways, if you know where I can find my uh, friend, that'd be very helpful. Oh, yeah, sure. He lives out past the Mists of Time Marsh. You can't get through there, though, without the directions he gave me. And it's filed away someplace in my Philomatic system. Well, let's go get that file. I can't. Pongo, my filing monkey, ran away a while back. He was the only one who knew how to run the Philomatic. As a result, I have no idea how to retrieve the map. But if you can figure it out, feel free. The controls are right here. Okay. Quint, Quentin Q. Umbridge. Alright. Now, the way this works is that basically this is kind of like an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, well, A to Z, you know, type of filing system. So basically, the uh, bunny rabbits are basically like A, B, C, D, that, that kind of thing. And basically, the letters that we need are basically, you know, end of alphabet type of stuff. So, let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I'm just guessing, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, QRST. Oh, okay, so that's the uh, last one. So I wonder if we make this. Uh, okay, if we make this monkey. I'm just guessing. I don't. I don't really remember how this works. So maybe if I'm right, this will work. Let's see if I get this right the first time. It's some sort of document. There are directions to Pegno's Pete's house. Weird. Oh, I did get Looks it. It's more like a train schedule to me. Nice. Okay. I cut right on the first time. Oh yeah. Okay, well you kind of get the idea of the uh, file retrieval system, right? Okay, customer, Quentin Q. Umbridge. Prescription, Acne Prosthetic Proboscis Model, TK421. Why aren't you at your post? <laughs> Directions, Miss the Time Marsh, 1215 W, 1230E, 1245S, 135S, 150S, 2 East, 225 East, 245 West. Okay. Now, this will actually help us navigate the uh, Mistletime Marsh. So, off we go. And the reason is called Mistletime for a reason. Okay, now we got a compass. North west, east, and south. And we're going to put the uh, clock that we stole from the uh, chest layers on the raft. And there we go. Okay, now we have uh, 225, so if we look at this again... There are directions to Pegno's Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train schedule to me. Okay, so 225 is east. So we'll head east. I think it's randomized too, so directions that is. Alright. Alright, 
We're gonna have to stop and look at the directions every so often. There are directions to Pegnose Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train schedule to me. Okay, so... 150, so south. Let's get in the middle here. There's also an Easter egg where um, if you keep going the uh, wrong way um, several times, you actually find the uh, the uh, X-wing <laughs> crashed into the swamp. <laughs> there are directions to Pegno's Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train schedule to me. Okay, 1215 West. Alright. So this one. Hey, Guybrush, I need your help. What? Here, take this. Okay, now this is actually um, another puzzle. Basically a puzzle within another puzzle. Now you know why we call this a time march, because, you know, because, you know, time travel and all that. Okay, now the thing is that we gotta pay attention to what the what future Guybrush says and uh, what he gives us in that order. So basically, he gives us the keys first, and now we're gonna ask him a random question. So, so we're going to pick a one. It doesn't matter. Where did you get this? You'll see soon enough. Could you be a sport and help yourself through the gate now? Oh, you'll need this too. Okay, he says that, and then he gives us the gun Hey, first. great, a gun! Watch out, Peg Nose. And this. And the rubber chicken. Um, great, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Okay, and then we have to talk to him again. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? 69. Creepy. That is the number I'm thinking of. Now we I guess you really are me. Two. And then, after that, we open the gate. Guybrush, you're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. It should be the rope. There we go. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. All right. Now we're going to have to do this part again, but as the uh, as the uh, future Guybrush. All right. So one. There are directions to Pegnose Pete's house. Weird. Okay, Looks so more like a train schedule to me. South. So we gotta head the way. Head this way. Okay, so. Um, 12.30. There are directions to Pegnose Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train east. schedule to me. There are directions to Pegnose Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train schedule to me. Two o'clock is east again. Hey, Guybrush, I need your help. All right, here we go. No, don't say anything. You'll cause a paradox. Thanks. Um, me? Oh, yeah. I'll try oh, to be yeah. careful. Oops, I almost screwed that one up. Okay, basically. Yeah, if you mess up, you'll cause a time paradox, and and the whole and you have to reset the entire puzzles all over again, and that's not great. Okay, so we gave him the we give him the key first, like the other guy rich did. Here, take this. Where did you get this? All right. Then we give him the response that he told us. You'll see soon enough. Could you be a sport and help yourself through the gate now? Then we give him the gun. Oh, you'll need this too. Hey, hey, great, a gun! Watch out, Peg Nose. And then the rubber chick with the pulley in the middle. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It seems heavier than I remember it, though. Yeah. 
And this. Um, great, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? 69. 69. Creepy. That is the number I'm thinking of. I guess you really are me. After that... Yeah, they yeah, automatically fall. Thanks, Guybrush. You're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. Their directions to Pegno's Pete's house. Weird. Looks more like a train schedule to me. West. Alright. And we're here. I bet a whole lot of crawdaddies would fit in this trap, and I bet it doesn't catch many either, with gaps that big between the bars. I can hear some people talking inside. If I move closer to the window, maybe I'll be able to make out what they're saying. Like I said, I got the job done. And where's my money? Hmm, this should be good. Yeah, all in due time, my dear Mr. Pignose. Hey, that voice sounds familiar. We've only completed part of the plan. You've done an admirable job in getting Guybrush out of the way, as well as reappropriating the Marley family heirlooms. I trust you put them somewhere safe for the time being. Of course I am. I'm no idiot. That junk you're so interested in is safe and sound in my impenetrable cave. That Junk, as you call it, may very well be the key to ridding these islands of pirates once and for all. Uh, no offence, of course. Right. So about my fee. Later, my good man. In the meantime, the heirlooms are our little secret. Keep them hidden, and not a word to anyone. We'd hate to have my plan spoiled by an indiscretion. All right, Mr. Batgirl, we'll do it your way. But if you don't pay me soon, I'll cut your gizzard out. There's no need to be such a ruffian. You'll get what's coming to you. I'm better. I'm off to tend to my affairs. Now that we're in possession of the Marley heirlooms, I must begin determining how they relate to the ultimate insult. So, Ozzy and Pegnos are working together. After I deal with Pegnos here, I'll have to pay Mr. Mandrill a little visit. So, Ozzy's after the ultimate insult. That's the door to Pegnose's shack. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too close. Would want Pegnose to see me. All right, now we need to get uh, Pegnose out, out of the building, and I just know how. First, we're gonna need uh, the chicken grease and uh, put it on the welcome mat. And now we're going to see if. Uh, he really is scared, Ducks. Just as a little trial run. No, ah. oh, no! Go away, you stupid duck! <laughs> yep, I guess that's right. Well, in you go. Ah. No! 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 <laughs> I don't think so. You're going to jail, bucko. Well, Inspector, here's your real criminal. What's this? That looks like Peg Nose Beat. Let me out of here! It is. He's the one who framed me for the bank robbery. I'd like this anklet removed now. You got nothing on me. I overheard you and Ozzy talking about how he hired you to rob the bank and frame me. Ah, that won't hold up his evidence. He's right. You have proof he did it. But that prosthetic nose I gave you earlier should clear my name. Well, not exactly. That would only prove that Pig Nose here was at the scene of the crime. It wouldn't prove he was the perpetrator. To do that, you'd need to prove Pig Nose had the loot in his possession. But... So, I will not be administering justice in this case. But you can't just let him go. Oh, Pete's not going anywhere. 
He's wanted for plenty of other crimes. Come back when you think you can prove what you claim. <sighs> All right. Well, we got the guy here, so... Gee, I wonder how Elaine's doing. Uh, and so, my swashbuckling citizens, as we approach the next century, can we really afford to entrust Melee Island's future to a man with no past, a man with no experience, a man who doesn't even seem to like pirates? Common sense says no! My opponent is right. I am a newcomer to these islands, and it's true that my experience in affairs of state is minimal at best. But it doesn't take a seventh-generation pirate princess to see that Melee Island needs more than a part-time status quo governor. A governor who can't even promise her citizens good times and free grog! Stop! Stop it! You, you, you can't be stupid enough to believe that Charles is just gonna give you free grog and good times, can you? Well, if it isn't Pegnose, Pete's a pilfering pirate. What do you want, you ponytail freak? You're the one with the ponytail, too. <laughs> so, the infamous Pegnose Pete finally meets his match. You're nothing without your precious attack gun. I want my belongings and I want them now. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me where my stuff is and I won't hurt you. Ooh, now there's a threat. How does Ozzy Mandrill fit into this scheme? I don't know who or what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I saw him over at your house. And you still can't figure it out. You're a sorry excuse for a pirate. I am not. I'm mightier than you'll ever be. <laughs> right. I'll let you get back to running errands for the wifey. Jeez, everyone seems to know about that. Did a duck really nibble off your nose? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> this is your last chance to tell me where the loot is. Oh, what? Or I'll bring my duck in here. Ha, ha! There's no pets allowed in this building. Or I'll boil you in oil. Oh, that worse. Or you'll be wishing it was just your nose that was missing. Big talk for such a little man. Or I'll ask you again. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> or I'll start singing show tunes. Yeah? Then I'll sing show tunes through my nose cavity. Uh, or nothing. That's what I figured. I can do this. Quack! Ah! 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 <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not gonna get anything out of uh, Pegnos, so... Stay here. I'm off to enjoy my freedom. Freedom? You can't even leave the island. <sighs> we still need to loot. However, we do have another lead. Ozzy. Unfortunately, he's not really going to uh, tell us, but we do have something that can help us, so we're going to go back to the bait shop, and we're going to get another piece of bait, but we're also going to pick up those termites. You're back, eh? Can't resist the smell of fresh bait, huh? If that's fresh, I don't want to know what old bait smells like. requires stealth. Come and get it, boys! Ah, look at those little buggers go! They must be real hungry for the taste of redwood. Alright, now you're probably wondering, what do we need termites for? Well, if you remember, Ozzy's uh, walking stick is made out of wood. And he just recently broke his again. So, if we head into the House of Sticks, and 
hurry, hurryingly, put it on his uh, cane. Those little buggers sure know high quality wood when they see it. Pretty. My new cane up better be ready. Oh, it sure is, Mr. Mandrel. It's right uh, over on that bench there. Creepwood? Thinking of buying a walking stick of your own, are you? Uh, might make you look more distinguished. <laughs> Quite like a monkey in a hat. <laughs> yeah, those are funny. Hey. Put it on my bill, Freddy, and don't even think about overcharging me, or I'll own ya. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. And leave the sawdust trail. Okay, before I forget, I might as well just put the uh, bait in the Tupperware. There, now my bait will stay fresh. What do you want now? Hey, you're the jerk who hired Pegnos to frame me for the bank robbery. That's strange. I heard that you were the one who robbed the bank. Ha! I overheard you talking to Pegnos in the swamp. What? You heard me. I know all about your scheme to steal the Marley heirlooms. Ah! Your puny pirate brain is incapable of perceiving the true depths of my scheme. Besides, you'll never be able to pin anything on me without the loot. And you'll never find it. Ha! I already found it. Really? You found Pegnos' booty showcase? Um, yeah. What did it look like? Uh, lots of booty. It's very nice. Lots of booty. Hmm. You're probably bluffing. But I was planning to take a hike to the showroom anyway. When I return, I'll have plumbed the mysteries of the ultimate insult. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Grandpa Marley's letter mentioned the ultimate insult. Wonder if it's important. Oh, it is super important. Hell, it's the entire plot of this game. And there he goes. Pile of sawdust. Yep. Good thing I had that trail to follow. Up until now, that is. It's disappeared. Those termites probably ran out of cane to eat. Now, where did that Australian pirate phobe go? Oh, there he is. I must have kangaroos in me upper paddock. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Aussies. <laughs> This ultimate insult nonsense has me uncharacteristically baffled. I knew I should have taken that class in ancient voodoo curses at the University of Toowoomba. The heirlooms must be nearby. Well, let's go check it out. He did come from over here, so... Somewhere around here. They're very tropical. Yep. Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. That must be where Ozzy disappeared to. Aha. Well. Hey, that looks like the Lucre Town Bank's missing loot and the Marley heirlooms. I've got to find a way to get in there. The bank booty and the Marley heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Yeah, sure. I'll just break that reinforced glass by banging my head on it. That'll certainly mess up the carpet. 
We're gonna have to find another way to get in there. What kind of twisted freak keeps the skulls of his victims lying in piles around his showroom? I bet he wasn't hugged much as a child. <laughs> what an odd collection of junk. There doesn't actually seem to be all that much valuable stuff in here. And yet he keeps stealing them. No, I'd probably get busted for possession of stolen property. Murray? Guess not. <laughs> nope, it's not Murray. Wow. Wonder if Elena let me have one of these. Probably not. All right. Now, what we have to do is that we have to dive into the uh, deep water here. Unfortunately, it's very, very dark down here. Except for those bioluminescent fishes over there. We're gonna need their help to uh, light our way. Mm. It's too dark to see. Yep. Which is why we have the bait with the scupperware in it. So, we're just gonna have to wait for those uh, fishies to come back. Okay, here, here fishy, fishy, fishy. Aha. And there we go. Ta da! Hey, there's a secret looking door there. Yep. Whew. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for ten minutes. It's the stolen booty from the bank. Alright. Let's take let's take them. Hey, something just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. Yep. All right, all we gotta do is head back to the Hall of Justice. And uh, turn it in. What a strangely shaped stalactite. Off, let's show him the uh, screw. Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Oh, did I mention that I found it with the loot that was stolen from the bank? Well, then, perhaps we should give it a try. Oh, still you! Quiet, you! Well, I'll be. Well, let, let's see that screw. It doesn't fit! Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you! Well, all right then. I guess your name's been cleared. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thing. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you! you. <laughs> on the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? <laughs> Thank you. 
done paying your debt to society, Otis? Ha freaking ha. Time to make sale, shipmates. Thank gods, I hate this repressive place. Yeah, I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. <laughs> Just kidding. Ship's ready. Uh. <laughs> home again, home again, Jiggy Jig. All right, mateys, stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scum bar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. <laughs> this can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home. Guybrush, oh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful. Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. Sure did. And so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. And I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles! You manipulating weasel! Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you! Yikes! No, no, my dear Mrs. Marley. Three poured. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of them. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service! Enough of this inane banter! I've got an election to win! <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them! Shout it from the rooftops! It will only ensure my victory! And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of... The ultimate insult, huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. Well, crap. I'm confused. About what? Uh, about everything. <laughs> How can LeChuck be alive? Relatively speaking, of course. I don't know. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? Why don't I run for governor while you try to figure out the mysteries of the ultimate insult? Hmm. That's close, but I've got a better idea. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion, which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. But... Have fun fighting the bad guy, schnookums. This is what it's like being a first lady. Oh, boy. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to leave it off here for now. 
and we'll continue the rest later. And until then, I will see you later.